Hey guys, Fishbait here, and today I'm bringing you guys my 1000 subscriber Q&A, and in today's commentary, the gameplay in the background you guys are watching is a 101 kill specialist game, it's not the highest kills I've ever got, the most I've got currently is 121, but um, it's a double moab and I managed to fail the quad, I die on a, I think it's a 20 gun streak, and I die on a 15, it's something along the lines of that, it's pretty entertaining to watch, and um, if you guys don't want to watch the gameplay, just feel free to close down the window and just like listen to this with the tab minimised or whatever, but anyway, like I was saying, it's a Q&A, so we're going to get onto the first first question which is from iGenadox and what got you into Call of Duty slash gaming and well um all my friends I like, had the Xbox 360 when that came out about um a year or two after it came out and I was a sort of the only one who hadn't had it they was all playing from um Call of Duty World at War and um the very first game I ever played a Call of Duty, I remember it, it was around one of my friend's houses, and he got, he said, go on, you can play a game, and it was on World at War, and I can't remember the map exactly, but um, let's just say I was the biggest retard you'd ever come against. I think I went about 0-17 or something like that, and the only score I got, I got three score in the whole game, and that was one kill on a dog in World at War, so that's shown how much further I've came in gaming, and um, what got me into gaming, and I used to play Halo 4 a lot on the 360, not Halo 4, Halo 3 with one of my friends, and um, we enjoyed it a lot and he was playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 at the time when that came out and um, I went around a friend's house and, and they had a broken Modern Warfare 2 disc and they said it might work on your Xbox so I thought I'd take it home and I've never played any Call of Duty like apart from that one little game on World at War before and I thought yeah I'm going to play it to see how we can do and um, I, I got it I started playing it and it actually worked on my Xbox and it was one of the best times I ever had I, first day playing on it I actually had a positive KD believe it or not and um that slowly, slowly fell to a 0.3 KD. So basically, all you, if you want to improve as player, all you got to do is put some time into the game. But no one's asking that. But yeah, basically, my friends getting Xboxes and stuff. That's what got me into gaming, basically, and like me wanting to be a part of my friends and playing with them on Call of Duty and other games. I did play a lot of FIFA, but I don't really play that anymore. And the next question is from 1979 Dan the Man, and he said, "What are your thoughts on Treyarch charging people for maps what they have already bought in past Call of Duties?" And he thinks this completely wrong which um i actually personally agree with you i mean in the latest map pack they bought out stadium and dig which um one was courtyard from world at war which played really well on that game but i don't really think it's playing too well on black ops 2 the spawns are really really fixed and um it don't feel anything like courtyard i mean courtyard um that was a really really good map for the mp40 obviously and snipers i actually really enjoyed playing that like i never played world at war when it was out but going back to playing it i actually enjoyed that map and i think they've ruined it with dig and stadium as well like that's now called offshore or something like that i'm not 100 percent sure but um i don't really think they should be doing that to be honest i mean i can see why modern warfare 3 done it with terminal they did give that to the elite members but then they ended up giving it to everyone for free and um, i do feel like it's completely wrong and try out just money grabbing because i um stupidly bought the season pass and i don't replay the map pack and um i just got um to the point where i didn't want to play black ops 2 online and i thought why are they still springing out old maps i've already made they may be remastering them for black ops 2 but black ops 2 doesn't run too well in my opinion and the spawns on all dlc maps in any cod are always a little bit off because they they haven't really got enough like changes into it they don't really update the maps when they bring them out apart from a few glitches here and there but um i don't really think they should do that and um that's that, I'm going to go on to my next question now. And um, the next one's from Mr. Wagonwheel666, at six, I believe. And um, th that's basically a simple little question here. It's a one-word answer. McDonald's or KFC? And for me, that is going to be KFC. I am sort of... Um, I do like McDonald's, don't get me wrong. But um, I, I like chicken a lot more than I like sort of burgers and stuff. And... Um, like most of my diet's actually chicken. I eat a lot of it, and it's like really nice. And I like KFC. I like like um like the boneless box and stuff like that. I have that when I go to KFC with a few people, and um it's a lot different with McDonald's. It's not half as like um it don't feel as fatty in that because chickens are uh, a, mo a more lean meat, and um I don't really like McDonald's. It's really fattening, and um I don't really have it too often. So I'm gonna say KFC for that one. And um, another simple question from I Trolley: spaghetti, spaghetti or ravioli? Ravioli's definitely spaghetti. I've never actually had ravioli, I don't think, so I can't really pick one fairly, so um, I'm going to say that. And the next one is from Amchi0922, and that is PS4 or Xbox One. And at the minute, because um, I haven't got a stable job at the minute, I have I have just got a job. I'm doing like some um, pot washing over at a restaurant near in the town over from where I live. And um, 
I can't turn around and say, right, I'm going to get the PS4, I'm going to get the Xbox One, because the PS4 sounds like it's doing really well, like a lot more people are going to buy that from the Xbox One, but I think I might just continue with the Xbox One, just for the fact that um, I played on the Xbox 360, and I think I just picked up the double mob here, and I played on the Xbox 360, and um, the controller's very similar, so hopefully I can get used to that, and um, that'd be okay if... Eventually, if I ever like earned YouTube money or anything, if I ever got big on YouTube, I'd probably end up getting both the consoles eventually if I had enough money just for the fact that it would help you grow your audience from PS4 and um, the Xbox One. But I can't turn around and say like one at the minute just for the fact that um, they're not out yet and no one's really given any reviews for them. So um, I can't turn around and say, right, this is going to be my console I'm going to play, I'm going to game on and like get some gameplays and that for you guys on like in the future. But I'm going to stick with the 360 for a little while just for the fact that um um I don't think I'll be able to afford the Xbox One when that comes out because that'd be like four hundred pounds so I might wait until like the next Call of Duty after that but if I'm still into YouTube and gaming then but I might still be I probably will be to be honest but um I'm not really hoping too much um for ghosts to be honest because I don't really like Call of Duty online anymore so right my next question is going to be on Twitter I've just got to open my Twitter page and um, this one is from um, Mel Dudley or at Rush underscore Rage what's your sensitivity and what's your favourite gun in all Call of Duties and um, my sensitivity is different on Black Ops 2 as it is from Modern Warfare 3 as it's slightly changed around with the f up to 14 sensitivity on Black Ops 2 and um, Modern Warfare 3 I do play on a 4 sensitivity it's sort of um it's easier to play it like way, well, especially when you're running the spawns as well, because normally the guys are in front of you, they're never normally behind you in the spawns, like especially when you're playing in support parties, as you guys can see here. But um, even when you're playing solo, when you've got a good headset, you know when a guy's behind you from a long way away with sit reps, you have time to turn on them. So a force sensitivity is quite low, but I, I still play on it just for the fact that um, it, it just holds your aim better. And um, on Black Ops 2, it's 5, it's basically similar to 4, but um, I think it's actually a little bit less than 4 on Modern Warfare 3, I think it's probably like a 3.5 or something like that, and um, I'm still getting used to that sensitivity, because um, my friend Atumna told me to drop down, so I was originally playing on the 8 sensitivity, and I did enjoy playing on that, it's just I I lost stupid gunfights at range in that where my sensitivity um, just went all over the place, so um, that's why I play on a 5 sensitivity now in that game and this next question from Atumna why did you start YouTube, and um, this one is basically quite a simple question to be honest, um, I was playing with um, Awesome and Atumna and um, he was basically saying because Jesse used to do YouTube on his old channel it was that Finnish guy 123 and he had about 150-200 subscribers and he had really good content over his channel but he only uploaded videos with music and um, um, I feel like he could, he's got the potential to be a good commentator it's just um, he don't really do many commentaries he might do one or two um, every week or so but his commentaries are improving a lot and um, we basically started YouTube together he started the day before me and um, I started after and I basically started YouTube because of um, one man one, well, one man one person I know called awesome don't let him call him a man <laughs> he ain't that <laughs> but um, no um, anyway um, he basically said I've got a lot of good content in my vault on Modern Warfare 3 and he felt like I could do something on YouTube and obviously he was right because I'm at 1k now and he was actually um, one of the main inspirations for me continuing on YouTube now because I had a few points where I was going to quit but he said I'm, you're not definitely quitting YouTube until you beat me so um, I had to overtake him and um, now I'm happy doing YouTube so I'll be doing it for another long while and um yeah, so basically, I took recorded my first few gameplays, and that awesome gave me a little bit of help out. He got me to my 100 subscribers. He, I remember going fishing, and um, I had like 90 subs, and he gave me a little shout out, and I came home to 102 subscribers. And I was actually like, I'm really, really happy with that. And I was probably more happy than hitting 100 subs than when I did when I hit a thousand. But there's about a minute left in the um, commentary. We'll try squeezing one more question. This one's from Amp Ampchi again, 0922. This is on Twitter. What do you think about events like MLG? And I really do enjoy watching competitive gaming like from optic gaming and they're my favorite team to watch and also i do like watching the clayster's team i don't even know who he plays for i forgot what they're called but i do enjoy watching their team and i do like uh, mlg events i have been playing a lot of competitive and improving a lot as a player on um, black ops 2 in my competitive team i'm playing currently in a team with Modge, Atumna and gunnix and we're doing quite well um they managed to win a tournament with a pickup i played up until the semi-finals and i went off because i got bored and um 
Right, that's basically that, guys. Um, I don't know if I answered that question that well, but do leave a like rating if you guys enjoyed. This is my first Q&A, and um, I'm, if you want to see more, do let me know. This will take me a long time to render and upload, so I do hope you guys appreciate this. Um, if you want to leave any more questions, to feel free, but um, that's all I've really got to say, guys. There's about 10 seconds left in the gameplay. Do leave a like rating if you enjoyed. Leave a favourite if you really, really enjoyed the video. And as always, I'm Fishbait or John, and I'd like to see you in the next video. And bye.